What's going on guys? So today I'm down here in the shop. Um, I'm working on the 2022 Dodge Ram 2500. Uh, this is a diesel truck with dual batteries and the customer, uh, which is actually a local fire department, has asked me to install this winch bumper that you see on the front here with a hidden winch. Uh, the winch is actually set back in here on a winch mount. I'm going to flip the camera around here where you can see a little bit closer. Alright, so what we've got in here is basically this winch bumper set up. Here's your fair lead where it's going to come out. Your winch is in here. Your shift lever is right here where it's accessible uh, through this opening. This is a Fab 4 bumper. Um, I'm not a fan. It, uh, it fits the truck really well, but there's just not much room in it. Uh, there's really not enough room in this bumper to do everything that we're wanting to do. Um, you can see down here below me, I've got the inserts, which has the 200 watt sirens mounted into it. This is a 30 inch LED that does emergency lights as well as flood. So it'll be white, it'll also flash red and white. Um, but the problem that I've got is down here, you can see right here on the top, this is where the original control box was mounted, um, which is this piece here. This was the original piece that was supposed to be on top of the winch. It will not fit in here with this LED bar back here. Uh, there's not enough room to get everything in there. So Warren recommends doing a winch relocation, uh, which is what these extended cables are for right here. I've got those already attached to the winch back here, already got the boots on them, everything's put in place. But the problem with this truck is, even with the air box out right here, um, there's nowhere in here to mount this complete piece right here. Um, there's just nowhere to put it. I mean, I could put it over here on top of the fuse panel like that. Um, or try to finagle it down in here against the radiator or something to that extent, but that's not feasible. Um, it doesn't need to be attached over here on this rubber housing and all for the fan shroud, so I can't justify that. What I actually ended up doing is I had to pull the headlights out anyway, doing some emergency light outfit. Um, I disassembled this. Warren does not say that you can do this, however, the tech that I talked to on the phone said it can be done. They just don't supply the stuff to do it because um, they haven't tested it. But it should work fine. This thing is normally mounted inside of that housing up there on the winch. And it's exposed to moisture and everything else. So it's actually a sealed unit. The only thing that's not sealed are these lugs. We're going to have rubber boots over top of those. Um, these are already covered with rubber boots here. This module is waterproof, according to Warren. Uh, it's sealed off completely. This is where our connector goes for the plug-in. Uh, this is the wireless module, and this is the direct connect. So what I've done is took the headlight out, and I have enough room underneath the headlight to put two nut certs right here. Uh, what that's going to allow me to do is set this in here, and I don't want it touching the bottom down here, but I'll be able to raise it up off of the bottom just a little bit, put my two screws in it, and lock it down in place, and then I can run my cables in and around and bring them in to each side of this uh, and run the three F1, F2, and armature going to my winch as well as run my battery cable right up to my battery. Uh, the other thing that I found on this truck is right here. Uh, this is actually part of the ground system. Um, we're gonna tie into it. Uh, I've gotta do a little bit of research because I believe these newer trucks has a breakout in it to where this is only rated to about 200 amps. Uh, the winch can pull upwards of 340 at peak so we're probably going to ground this either directly to the battery itself up here or we're going to ground it to the actual frame of the truck 
so it gets a good solid ground. Uh, there's another lug back here that's coming straight down from the battery terminal that we may use. Uh, I've just got to get in here, pull this hose back out of the way, and get in here and look and see how this is configured. But the problem, guys, that I'm trying to emphasize is this relocation part right here. Uh, there is no room in the bumper. There is no room under the hood of the truck. Uh, and aside from me running new cables and putting this thing maybe inside the cab or something to that extent, it's just not a feasible option. What we can do here is we can take this plug connector and I can run it down and have it come out right here in this hole to where you'll have an access plug out here. Now, in talking with the customer, they would rather have this extended and put inside the cab itself. Um, this is gonna be a backup. It'll normally be operated wirelessly, but you'll have a backup control here. All right, guys, so that is the problem that I ran into with this winch install. I wanted to share this information with you in hopes that if somebody else runs into this issue, they can relocate one. Um, you can separate that module out Oh, Warren doesn't say specifically that you can, but they didn't say that you can't. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get creative with this. We're going to get this thing set up and uh, get the grill and stuff put back in, headlights in, get all the emergency lights hooked up, and we'll get this back to the fire department so they can put it in service. Guys, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Give us a thumbs up. Drop comments or questions down below. And as always, always, be sure and hit that subscribe button so you get notified when we release more videos. Thanks.